Hello everyone, God bless everyone, in the name of Jesus. I figured out how to make PDF files, and uh, it's much easier to read. So, I'm going to have the link for the PDF file if you want it. And uh, this is called, this is a specific warfare prayer called Civil War in Satan's Empire. And uh, the first part is um, imprecatory psalms and imprecatory Bible verses and uh, warfare Bible verses. And, uh, and then it goes, that's the first part. And then the second part is, um, it goes into the prayer. So there is one, two, three parts, three paragraphs. Okay, let's start. For there is no faithfulness in their mouth. Their inward part is very wickedness. Their throat is an open sepulcher. They flatter with their tongue. Destroy thou them, O God. Let them fall by their own counsels. Cast them out in the multitude of their transgressions. For they have rebelled against thee. Let them be ashamed and confounded together. That seek after my soul to destroy it. Let them be driven backward and put to shame that wish me evil let them be confounded and consumed that are adversaries to my soul let them be covered with reproach and dishonor that seek my hurt let death seize upon them and let them go down quick into hell for wickedness is in their dwellings and among them let them be confounded and put to shame that seek after my soul let them be turned back and brought to confusion that devise my hurt let them be as chaff before the wind and let the angel of the lord chase them let their way be dark and slippery and let the angel of the lord persecute them for without cause have they hid from me their net in a pit which without cost they have digged for my soul let destruction come upon him at unawares and let his net that he hath hid catch himself into that very destruction let him fall behold all they that were incensed against thee shall be ashamed and confounded they shall be as nothing and they that strive with thee shall perish thou shalt seek them and shall not find them even them that contended with thee they that war against thee shall be as nothing and as a thing of naught. Great is our Lord, and of great power his understanding is infinite. Thy right hand, O Lord, is become glorious in power. Thy right hand, O Lord, hath dashed in pieces the enemy, and having spoiled principalities and powers, he made a shoe of them openly, triumphing over them in it. God shall likewise destroy thee forever. He shall take thee away, and pluck thee out of thy dwelling place, and root thee out of the land of the living. I command violent civil war in Satan's kingdom to erupt right now, nonstop. In Jesus' name, I command the demons to attack all their own works, destroy each other, and to shake the kingdom of evil. In Jesus' name, I loose nonstop distrust, disagreement, weakness, dissension, poverty, havoc, confusion, pandemonium, disasters, chaos, destruction upon each other, complete and utter devastation into Satan's kingdom by the power of the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ through the glory of God the Father in heaven and the magnificent light of the Holy Spirit. I bind and order all demons to return to senders escorted by angels to destroy and utterly decimate beyond repair the seeds of all witchcraft and the altars of all idolatry. In Jesus' name, the demons are commanded to confuse and sow terror and panic nonstop in the hearts of all the call practitioners all at once right now. In Jesus' name, cause the devil's forces to fight against each other, force demons in into open combat with other demons, split their army, and destroy the kingdom of Satan in Jesus name specifically we command on marriage and family hindering delaying preventing destroying and breaking demons to attack the spirits of Ahab and Jezebel we command the spirits of power and control to attack the spirits of pornography and eros the spirits of violence and torture to attack the spirits of human subjection degradation submission and trafficking loose the spirits of riches and wealth by greed to attack the spirits of lust for one world rulership currency and total control of the world system the spirits of anti-capitalism, rebellion against free enterprise, strike and work stoppage. To attack the spirits of poverty, hatred for believers, racism, and human bondage. Let the spirits of war between the nations, destruction, hatred, and anger attack the spirits of political and spiritual blindness, rage, mockery, vengeance, evil political science and influence, Illuminati, and communism. 
Let the spirits of Antichrist 666 and false religions attack the spirits of Roman Catholicism and Masonry. The spirits of infirmities, sicknesses, weaknesses, deformities, and accidents. Let them attack the spirits of alcohol, drugs, nicotine, bad nutrition, addiction, allergies, and abortion. Let them destroy the spirits of mind control, hypnosis, death, darkness, censorship, and propaganda. And attack the spirits of Leviathan, pride, atheism, and feminism. Loose the spirits of Council of Thirteen, the Bilderbergers, the Rockefellers, to attack the spirits of the Rothschilds, Warburgs, Council of Three Hundred, Trilateral Commission, and Council on Foreign Relations. Let them attack the spirits of Federal Reserve System and Internal Revenue Service. Let them attack the spirits of United Nations and One World Government. Loose the spirits of International Monetary Fund and Transportation Security Administration to attack the spirits of the World Council of Churches and Department of Homeland Security. I order the spirits of Babylon, the Beast, Church of Wicca, to attack the spirits of all Satanist churches, all Zodiac churches and powers, and Church of Islam. Loose the spirits of strong delusion to decimate the spirits of false doctrine, and for all other underlings to take each other away into destruction. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you. Hello, everyone. God bless everyone in Jesus' name. My throat hurts a little bit, so uh, pray for me. By his stripes we are healed. Amen. Anyway, these are some prayers for salvation and spiritual growth, as well as some closing prayers. And uh, if you don't know Jesus, I want you to right now, in your heart, say, Lord Jesus, you are the Son of God. Save me. And you will be saved. And then ask for the Holy Spirit. Say, Lord Jesus. Fill me with your Holy Spirit. Amen. Now, you can say these prayers, and these prayers are going to work. Right. If you try and say these prayers without knowing Jesus, you're going to get backlash. And it's going to be seven times worse what you pray. So you better know Jesus before you pray these prayers. Just a heads up. Prayers for salvation and spiritual growth. Dear Heavenly Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I bind the prince of the power of the air now working to everyone. And I ask that the Holy Spirit work in everyone that isn't saved to obtain salvation in the Lord Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, I ask that everyone that isn't saved to come to, into a closer walk with the Lord as it is in accordance with your perfect will. In Jesus' name, I ask that the Holy Spirit reprove everyone of sin, righteousness, and judgment and to prick them in their hearts so they will repent and turn to Jesus. Dear Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name, I ask that the Lord will open everyone that isn't saved, eyes, ears, hearts, and minds that they attend unto the message of salvation. Dear Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name, I pull down the blocks, blinders, and blindness, and loose the purifying fire of the Holy Spirit on everyone's eyes, ears, hearts, and minds that keep people from the Lord God so they can understand spiritual truth, go to love, and serve the Lord Jesus Christ and so the gospel light can fully shine to them. In Jesus' name, I ask that God remove the gross wax off the heart of everyone that isn't saved, remove the dullness of hearing off the ears of everyone that isn't saved, open the eyes of everyone that isn't saved so they can perceive God's word, see with the eyes, hear with the ears, and understand with the hearts, and be saved and healed. In Jesus' name, I ask that God remove the fatness of the heart of everyone that isn't saved so they can understand with their hearts. Remove the heaviness of the ears of everyone that isn't saved so they can hear. Open the shut eyes of everyone that isn't saved so they can see. So everyone that isn't saved, be saved and healed. In Jesus' name, I ask that everyone that isn't saved receive God's word, be saved and have their sins forgiven them. In Jesus' name, I ask that the blindness on the eyes be removed, that everyone that isn't saved see. Remove the hardness off the heart of everyone that isn't saved so they can be saved and healed by God. In dear Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name, as the spirits of slumber that make the eyes so they do not see, and that make the ears so they cannot hear, be removed from everyone that isn't saved so they obtain salvation. In Jesus' name, I ask that everyone that isn't saved be given the gift of faith to profit from God's word. That everyone that isn't saved receive the love of truth to be saved. That God remove the strong delusion. That everyone that isn't saved not believe a lie but believe in God's truth and be saved. That God remove the veil on the hearts of everyone so they can turn to God. And that everyone that isn't saved be given a heart to know God to turn to you, Lord Jesus, with their whole hearts. In Jesus' name, I ask that God lift off everyone the ungodly bridle on the jaw and the ungodly yoke on the jaw that cause people to err from God's shoes so everyone can feed on God's word. In Jesus' name, I ask that God the Father protect his word sown in the hearts of everyone, that the wicked one not steal it away, not block their roots from getting nourishment, nor choke the word that they be unfruitful. In Jesus' name, I ask that everyone receive God's word, understand it, and bring forth much fruit. Closing prayers. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I come to you, Heavenly Father, praying for God's people. I ask that you make us as a defense city and an iron pillar and fence brazen wall against the evil in the whole land. That you make our face and forehead strong against the enemy, especially those within the church. That you make us as a tower and fortress among your people that have turned away from you. 
that you break the ungodly pride of power for us and break off the curse of heaven being as iron and earth as brass. We not be overcome by evil, but overcome evil with good. Strengthen us and cover our heads in the day of the battle of the Lord, that we know to refuse evil and to choose good, that we be not conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of our minds, that we may prove what is the good, acceptable, and perfect will of God, that you cause us to know the way wherein we should walk and teach us to do your will. Chasten and teach us from your law. You show us the evil coming against us and how to hide from it, that we not labor in vain, nor spend our strength for naught nor in vain. Protect, defend, exalt, and strengthen us, and establish us. Break the weapons and battle of the enemy against us. Make us perfect in every good work to do your will. That we be addicted to the ministry of the saints. That we stand fast with the Lord, having one mind, one soul, one spirit, one heart, and one way with the Lord Jesus Christ, striving together for the faith of the true gospel. That we be steadfast with the Lord, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord. That we stand perfect and complete in all of the will of God. That we be a tower and a fortress among your people, especially among those not following you, Lord. Defend and save us from the enemy as done for Hezekiah. Save and deliver us from your people not following you, Lord God. Deliver us out of the hand of the wicked and redeem us out of the hand of the terrible. Deliver our soul in peace from the battle against us. Strengthen our arm and put your sword in our hand. Anoint our eyes with eye salve of the Lord that we may see your truth from your word and your will and way for us. Open the bowels of compassion in your people, for your people, in need. Give us the tongue of the learned to say a word in season to the wary. Teach us to walk worthy of our calling. Keep us in the unity of the Spirit, in the bond of peace. Enable us to always speak the truth in love, so we may grow up in you, Lord Jesus, in all things. That in everything we be enriched by Jesus Christ, in all utterance and in all knowledge. In Jesus' name, I loose into each of us God's Spirit of godly strength unto, in, and to the battle of the Lord, standing in the battle of the Lord, power to stand in the battle of the Lord, preparing self to the battle of the Lord, ready to the battle of the Lord, to keep rank in the battle of the Lord, fit for the battle of the Lord, power over all power and authority of the enemy, godly sorrow to godly repentance, to the acknowledging of the truth, that we may recover ourselves from the snares of the devil. In Jesus' name, I ask you, Heavenly Father, to turn all ungodly counsel given to us to not as done for Ahithophel and for ne Nehemiah, and I ask you to guide us with their godly counsel. In Jesus' name, I perpetually bind, rebuke, and cut off all evil spirits of divination, familiar spirits, evil counselor, wicked counselor, perverse desire, psychic powers, false, counterfeit, ungodly, soulish, holy spirit, another spirit, another Jesus, false guides, false, counterfeit, ungodly, soulish discernment, and a list of all false, counterfeit, ungodly, soulish fruits, gifts, and the demons using them to deceive us and to guide us off of God's perfect will for us. In Jesus' name, Ask God for your angels to continually cancel, as I now cancel, all the ungodly plans of Satan and all rulers and ranks of his demons. And in Jesus' name, I ask God for your angels to continually bind, as I now in Jesus' name bind Satan and all rulers and ranks of his demons of, over, in, and working in and through everyone and any corresponding demons in the heavenlies. And I ask for God's angels to continually attack and destroy all the demonic kingdoms, headquarters, strongholds, fortification, etc. And set them in disarray and destroy all their works and all their plans in Jesus' name. I also bind all evil spirits and loose the spirits of repentance in any person or thing we meet, see, or hear. All demons coming over the fuel, communication, and or transportation lines. And all demons from the netherworld and between, over, and around everyone to be completely bound right now in Jesus' name. And I ask for God's angels to strip each demon and his hierarchy of power, armor, and rank, and all signs and symbols and memorials of them, and to separate each demon and to cut off and destroy the roots and fruits of seed and seeds of all the demons in Jesus' name. And I cancel their ungodly plans for everyone. In Jesus' name, I bind all evil sent against the senses, emotions, moods, the points of the body used by witchcraft, the chakras, the systems of the body, metabolism, and glands for everyone, and return it to the senders one million fold. And I bless them. In Jesus' name, I command right now all demons to be weakened 1,200,000 trillion trillion fold. In Jesus' name, I loosen to everyone the spirits of God and any other godly spirits mentioned in the Holy Scriptures, including the godly fruit and gifts of the Holy Spirit. And all godly scholastic and academic skills and gifts. All manners of workmanship. The godly spirits mentioned in the... Oh, the godly spirits of godly men and women in the Bible that are applicable for each person. Heavenly Father, I ask that you lose additional judgment, burning, destruction, affliction, damnation, and punishment perpetually that is of your will, Father, upon all disobedient and reluctant spirits that fail to follow these commands promptly and immediately. In Jesus' name, amen. And I'm going to make this um, <clears throat> this text file available online to download. 
and uh, I only did the last two sections but there's way more and uh, you know you can download it and do these prayers on your own and uh, these prayers work people I'm seeing a big difference in the spirit world in the spirit realms which is ain't happy Satan ain't happy his time is short fight the good fight of faith and lay hold on eternal life remember nothing can pluck you out of the Lord God Jesus hands and he will neither leave you nor forsake you and he is with you to the end of the earth and the end of the world God bless you in Jesus name